John 5, 24, the Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. So here, once again, it says, You believe you have everlasting life, right? Well, the Bible reemphasizes and says, And shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. See, once you believe, you pass from spiritual death to spiritual life. You have eternal life abiding in you. Now, let me ask you a question. I mean, you don't have any kids. Do you have any kids? Or, uh, no. You have a dad, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I... Right. Now, your dad... What's your dad's name? Joe. Joe. Now, he's always going to be your dad, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you this. You've heard of being a born-again Christian? Have you heard of the phrase? Yeah, I've heard that. Okay. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. It mentions here what we have to do. It says, but as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. So it says we have to become a son of God or a daughter of God, a child of God. Now to do that, what does it say we have to do? Believe. Believe on his name, right. So you're a child of God once you believe. Now I use that example, pass from death into life like the Bible says. See, I was born into my family one time. Mm -hmm. Curtis Stuck, he's my dad. He's always going to be my dad, right? He's always going to be my dad. See, I passed into life physically at that time. Once you believe, you pass from death onto life, spiritual life. God's your father then. Now my dad's... Curtis Duck, you know, when I did things wrong as a kid, he punished me, right? Okay. Could I ever do anything where he wouldn't be my dad? That's all I can hear, dad. Right. Now, if I did something wrong and did not ask for forgiveness, would he still be my dad? Yeah. Yeah. If I killed somebody, would he still be my dad? No, yeah. Absolutely. I could never do anything. Even, let's say, for example, I stopped believing he was my dad. Would he still be my dad? That'd be kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm not going to stop believing that. It's the same way with God. You see how if, if I killed someone, would God still be my father? Yeah. Right. If I stopped believing God was my father, he'd still be my father. And here's the thing. I'm not going to stop believing that. What I'm saying is Satan might make you doubt in your faith, but is God going to kick you out of his family because you doubt a little bit? Doesn't sound like it. No. If I give you a gift, it belongs to you, right? Okay. If you didn't believe tomorrow that you had this, would it still be yours? Somewhere. It'd be somewhere yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you choose to do with it is up to you, man. See, that's what the Bible says. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. See, he abideth faithful. He promised, hey, it's eternal life. Eternal means forever. It's everlasting life. So even if once we have it, half everlasting life, we pass from death into life, we've already passed into life. We have that ever, ever, everlasting life. So could we lose that? No. no. Now let's say, for example, we, a person committed suicide. Now see, my dad's always going to be my father while I'm physically alive. Now once I'm dead, you know, see, here's the thing. God's always alive. Yeah. If I commit suicide, I'm God's child because I believe. If I committed suicide, would God still be my father? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say no, but hey, it's everlasting. It's a gift, right? Yeah. Right. So could a person ever do anything? You know, they could ever lose their salvation. Sound like they stopped following him or committed a terrible sin. Would they ever lose that? Once they get born again, it sounds like they're stuck in Yeah, God's our father. I mean, is God gonna, he's going to get mad. Now, if you do something wrong, he's going to punish you, just like my dad did as a kid. But he's ever going to kick you out of his family and send you to hell? No, he promised you it's a gift, right? So let me ask you something. Do you, do you believe that Jesus died? Yeah. And made that pain was resurrected. Yeah. He's the only way to heaven. Okay. So, um, according to the Bible, do you have to do anything else to get to heaven? Just have to believe. Right. So, according to the Bible, now, if I asked you, do you know for sure if you're going to heaven? Do you know for sure if you're going to heaven? Yeah, I believe that. Absolutely. Now, could I just help um, pray with you? Just help you tell God that you believe that? Sure. It's, it's not, I mean, it's not magic words. You believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever believe. Are you want to just bow your head and repeat after me? Okay. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I know that I've sinned. I know that I've sinned. But I believe. But I believe. You died for me. You died for me. And rose again. And rose again. Please save me. Please save me. Amen. Amen. You meant that prayer, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So could you ever? And now that you know, you said you know you're going to heaven. Could you ever do anything that you lose just to you know make sure? No, I mean I could even shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean you know you're going to heaven. That's 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 a great feeling. That's why you know I, I want to talk to you because it's an important thing. And you know there's a lot of people out there who, they've been in church, but they don't know if they're going to heaven. And you have probably family and friends yeah. who, I mean, they might not believe. What happens to them if they never believe? What's going to happen to them? They want to get out. Right. And here's the thing. It's not that they're necessarily denying it. They just maybe have never heard. Somebody's got to tell them that. Now, I know right now when I first got saved, I got saved five years ago, you know, I didn't really know what to tell people. I tried. And you might be feeling like that too right now. You don't know what to really say to them. And that's why, you know, it's important to go to church. You know, it doesn't get you to heaven. But it's important to go so you can help tell other people about it. And um, that's why, and there's one thing God tells you, the first thing to do after you get saved. It's the first step. This is what God wants you to do. Let me show you this in the book of Acts. Okay. And um, the book of Acts chapter 8, the Bible says, 
And as they went on their way, they came onto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here's water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? So he's saying, What's preventing me from being baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. So Philip says, If you believe with all your heart. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he says, If you believe with all your heart, you can be baptized. Now, when I was a baby, I had water sprinkled on my head as a baby. As a baby, did I believe with all my heart that Jesus died and was resurrected? No. No, I mean, I didn't know anything. So is it right to sprinkle to a baby, to baptize a baby? I know. And so that's the thing. It's like, for example, I'm not married, but if I was married, I'd have a wedding ring on, okay? Now, let's say, for example, now the wedding ring, does that make me married, or is that just a symbol? Just a symbol. All right. Now, if I took my wedding ring off and put it on your hand, would you be married to my wife? <laughs> No, it's just a symbol, right? Yeah. If I don't wear my wedding ring, is my wife going to be mad if I never put it on? She's going to be upset. She's going to be upset, right? Now, see, God says he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. You're just showing, I'm putting a wedding ring on to show I love my wife. I'm not embarrassed to say it. You know, I'm, you get baptized to show the world, hey, I believe that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and he rose again. That's why you do it by immersion. You're showing the world that you believe that he was buried and rose again. Like the, the you said it, I believe. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So if you believe that, God says He commanded them to be baptized. Now, if He commands it, is it something that's not a big deal or is it important? It's very important. It's important. So it's something you need to do. You yeah. need to get baptized. Because if you want to reach your family and your friends and you get them saved, this is the first step. You need to get baptized. And you know, if you come to church, you know, it's obviously your choice, but you know, it's an important thing to do. You know, here's our church, we're on 48th Street and Southern. You're welcome to stop by. We'd love to have you. And, um, you know, if you ever need to ride, we've got our number on there. And anyways, my name is uh, Matt Stuckey. It's nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Just give me a call if you need to ride. Same. All right. Same.